Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're gonna to take a look at a Waterman 12, one of my favorite pens. So here we have what is pretty much a, a very unassuming pen. Um, it's a black hard rubber, chased hard rubber eyedropper. Um, this has two gold filled snail pattern bands on the barrel, which give it a nice little pop. Uh, keeping in mind back in the day when these were made, you could get a pen in pretty much any color you wanted as long as you wanted it in black or occasionally red or some mix of red and black. So the gold bands really gave this a little bit of a, a, a pop of color, a little bit of a uh, something other than your, your standard black. Um, this pen in true Waterman fashion has the number 12 in the bottom of the barrel, stamped in the barrel, and it is filled in with the red, which is what they used, um, the filler. Um, in 12 signifies this pen is an eyedropper. So the barrel just unscrews and you fill with the, the included eyedropper that came with the pen. And then you just screw this back in and you're all set. That's what the one stands for and the two stands for the number two nib. So this is a number two Waterman New York 14 karat gold nib. Uh, and this particular one has a little bit of softness to it, a little bit of spring to it. Um, it has no clip, but it has this accommodation clip on the end. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Waterman, you're probably wondering why I'm so excited about this particular pen. What's interesting comes next. Aside from the New York number two nib and the barrel imprint, on the bottom of the barrel, there is no Waterman marking on this pen. Normally you would have the Waterman imprint somewhere in the middle of the barrel, but this one has an interesting imprint on the cap, and it says compliments of Jacob Ruppert Brewer. And if you do a little bit of research, you'll find that Jacob Ruppert is actually a very famous person for a number of reasons. He was a four-term U.S. congressman from New York. He was in the brewery business for many years, uh, following after his father. And he's most famous, perhaps, for having purchased the New York Yankees for then the princely sum of, I believe, $450,000, and also responsible for building Yankee Stadium and he was the one who made the trade for Babe Ruth from the Red Sox. So Jacob Rupper, who's actually in the Baseball Hall of Fame, uh, apparently had these pens made for him, for his brewery business, and gave them out to uh, select clients. Um, really a, really an interesting, interesting thought when you, usually you'll see a name on a pen and you'll have no idea who that person was. Um, so it's really awesome when you can find something that has a very clear history to it. If it just said compliments of Jacob Ruppert, you could make any kind of guesses, but the fact that it has his uh, profession on there as a brewer uh, really kind of seals the deal. Um, it's got this accommodation clip on it, which was not a factory Waterman standard, but uh, appropriate for the time and probably, uh, you know, probably cost an extra, extra five cents give or take, and uh, that allows you to put it in the pocket. In other words, it's a clipless cap, and uh, it posts well. And this is, this is the, the epitome of very simple. Eyedroppers are awesome because they're really a, a five-piece pen. Cap, barrel, section, and then the nib and feet. And that's all there is to it. There's five parts, and uh, very simple but elegant in its simplicity. We've got the bands and they have this, uh, again, I call them the snail pattern. And they, they kind of shine as you, you rotate in the light. They're gold filled. And just really a, an interesting pen and with the history makes it just that much more interesting of a pen. So the Waterman 12 Jacob Ruppert eyedropper. So there you have it. A Waterman 12, one of my favorite pens. 
Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or our stores in Appleton or Chicago. Thanks for watching.